Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Monday, June the 26th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And I am reading to you from scriptures that are selected by the Revised Common Lectionary based on the time of the year. So we are in the season after Pentecost, the Monday after what's called Proper 7, Sunday of Proper 7, in year A of the three-year cycle. And our first reading will be Psalm 6. To the choir master, with stringed instruments, according to the Sheminith, a psalm of David. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who will give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of the prophet Micah, chapter 7, verses 1 to 7. The prophet writes this, Woe is me, for I have become as when the summer fruit has been gathered, as when the grapes have been gleaned. There is no cluster to eat, no first ripe fig that my soul desires. The godly has perished from the earth, and there is no one upright among mankind. They all lie in wait for blood, and each hunts the other with a net. Their hands are on what is evil to do it well. The prince and the judge ask for a bribe, and the great man utters the evil desire of his soul. Thus they weave it together. The best of them is like a briar, the most upright of them a thorn hedge. The day of your watchman and of your punishment has come. Now their confusion is at hand. Put no trust in a neighbor, have no confidence in a friend. Guard the doors of your mouth for her, from her who lies in your arms. For the son treats the father with contempt, the daughter rises up against her mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. A reading from the New Testament, friends, comes from the book of the Revelation. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. This is Jesus speaking from his throne in heaven uh, to one of the churches. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, The works of the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your toil and your patient endurance, and how you cannot bear with those who are evil, but have tested those who call themselves apostles and are not, and found them to be false. I know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake, and you have not grown weary. But I have this against you, you have, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. If not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, 
unless you repent. Yet this you have, you hate the works of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who conquers, I will grant to eat of the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us and grant through the power of your Holy Spirit that it may be written in our minds, in our hearts, in our very souls, wherein it can work what is good and pleasing to us. To your glory we pray in the name of Christ. Thank you as always, dear friends, for spending just a few minutes listening to the reading of Scripture and allowing me to do that for you. As I recorded the sections that um, passages that I've re uh, read today, which are in the first section or the first option, and I've recorded them in the description portion of this video so that you can follow up, read them again, mark them, meditate on them, underline, do what you need to do. And until we can be together again, and I'm able to read the scriptures for tomorrow to you, I bid you go in the peace of the Lord.